Hi, I'm Erica Currier. While fishing, food is very important to the crew's morale. We eat a lot of seafood, but we always try to vary the recipes. I'd like to show you two opposite seasoning styles, a wet marinade and a dry rub. Let's start with marinades. They are so easy and add such wonderful flavor to the fish. You can make your own marinade or buy store-bought marinades or try a salad dressing. I'm gonna use half a cup of soy sauce, orange juice, about a quarter cup more, garlic, three teaspoons, and about a pinch of ginger. Just give that a little mix. When marinating, it's really easy to use a Ziploc bag. I'm going to put the salmon filet in the Ziploc bag and pour the marinade right over it. You want to marinate for 30 minutes max. Any longer and salt or citrus-based marinades like soy sauce or orange juice will break down the delicate texture of the flesh. Now for rubs. I'm going to do a medium spicy rub. We're using about two tablespoons of every spice here. It has coriander seed, bay leaves, fennel, red pepper flakes, black pepper, and sea salt. The coriander seed needs a little grinding, so we're gonna use the coffee grinder. Coriander, fennel seed, red pepper flakes, black pepper, and salt. And four crushed bay leaves. Then just put the top on your bell jar and give it a good shake. So you've prepared a rub that took just a minute and you can use it for six months in a sealed jar. Now we're gonna get the cod. It's really important to spray your grill rack. I'm gonna pour just a little bit of olive oil on it, rub it in. So pretty. Let's gently pat it in. I'm going to let the fish rest for about five minutes to marry the flavors of the rub to the flesh. Now remember, this marinade does not have any oil in it, so you want to make sure to really coat the grill. I'm going to drain the excess marinade off of the filet and put it on the grill. The grill's heated to medium high. Now, these cod fillets are really thin. They are not going to take very much time at all. We put it on the grill rack because cod is a flaky fish. Close the grill and give them a few minutes. If a filet is thick, you might want to flip it. This salmon filet is fairly thin, and it really doesn't warrant flipping. It's going to cook in no time at all. You can really smell these spices. This is so beautiful. Now let's check the cod fillets. I'm gonna move the rub away so you get a good shot at the thickest part of the fillet. You don't wanna cook it to the point of flaking. It's actually overcooked if you do. I'm gonna take them off with a spatula, put them on a waiting platter. This is a very elegant dish. Now let's take a look at the salmon. Just opaque. Perfect. These are just two of the many ways to try great quality Alaska seafood. It's easy to grab the same old seasoning, but try something new next time you grill. Just remember the three essential points. Don't over marinate, don't overcook, and always start with Alaska seafood.